morning, everyone. This is Chris over at uh, Classic Cars of Palm Beach. We're in Jupiter, Florida, and uh, we're going to do a walk around condition video on this Ford C Max 2013. Uh, it is a hybrid car, and uh, what we're going to do in this video is point out any flaws on the car. We do it for internet buyers, people that are not going to see the vehicle in person until it gets shipped to them. And we want to make sure that before you purchase the car, uh, you look at this video and you see everything on the car that is not perfect. So this video is not for me to hype up the car and tell you everything that's great in the world about it. It's to point out flaws so that you know uh, the condition of the car exactly. And then you can make an educated decision whether or not you want to purchase it and have it shipped to you. Okay. All right. So here we go. We're going to walk around it. No, we point out things as small as little teeny snow nicks uh there's a couple right i mean i can't tell if that's just dirt or if that's a, that's so small it doesn't even i don't even feel the paint it looks like wax and a little nick is what that is but a couple little nick right there i mean very very small okay wheel looks good Up here on the hood, you always have typically a couple little, I mean, these are pin tip size, maybe pin head size right there. Little stone chips from going down the highway. Uh, talking about little stuff, no dents though, or dings or scratches or anything like that. Just a little dab of touch up, putting those to be perfect. Okay, there's a couple here on the front bumper. Paint's real glassy though, really nice. Good clear coat on it. Got a little teeny nick right here. Yeah, this wheel looks really good, no curb rash. Okay. Let me see what that is, that's just dirt. That looks like dirt there also. So when we detail it, that'll probably come off. Yeah, that's coming off right there with my fingernail. Okay, so coming down the side, I don't see any real damages. Couple little nicks here on the back. Like I said, they're just little things, a little dab of touch up paint and that'll work good. Have some right back here on the panel also. Looks like some got shot off the wheel or something and scratched it. Okay, so you have a couple little indentations here, scratches that were, it looks like they were filled in, I mean, touched up, so. Coming around the back, you got a couple little scratches on the on the uh, tailgate there, the back bumper where you pull stuff in and out of the trunk. Let's go inside the trunk here and check it out. Okay, this is a nice little cargo area here. It's got the cargo area cover. Okay, everything looks really good. Okay, so that's the outside of the car. It's a nice car, very nice car, condition-wise. Um, anyway, here we go. To the inside, what we're looking for is excess wear and tear, you know, or uh, cuts in the seat material, uh, anything like that that's uh, excessive on wear and tear, I'm gonna show you. I, I already know the inside of this car, though, because I drove it with a customer uh, down the street to pick up another car. And uh, it's it's real good. There's no excess wear here. A lot of times you get discoloration on the door panel there. Somebody's arm resting on it. Also, the bolster on these seats are really nice. So even though it's a 13, uh, nobody's brushed up against this real hard and cracked it up and you know had had wear on it. Look at the center consoles like new. And same with the steering wheel. Steering wheel doesn't have any excess wear and tear. I don't see any cracks or damage to the dash. Uh, all the gauges are clear. Shifting handle is not excessively worn. So everything looks great inside. This car's got a sunroof, it's got leather interior, uh, and it drove great the other day when I drove it. So it's got a power seat. Let us know if I didn't cover something that you wanna know about the vehicle, because we'll get you the information right away. Really appreciate you watching. Have a great day.